Hey everyone, this is Elise Michelle and thank you for joining me on my 1230 Periscope today. I know that it could be um, it's Sunday and you want to get all revved up for the football game and I totally get it and I'm going to make this as quick but I wanted to share with you the three lessons that you can learn from watching the Carolina Panthers play football even if you don't like football or you're not a football fan, clearly. All right, so again, I'm Elise Michelle and I help women entrepreneurs create thriving brands so that they can sell more products and services to their ideal clients, all right? So thank you, Terry, for joining me. Hey, thanks. So let me, let me flip it a little bit on me. me. Hey, that's me. I hope my background is not all messy. All right, so... I see there's other people joining me. Thank you again. And I'm Elise Michelle. And today I'm going to keep it quick, simple, and to the point. I got on my Carolina Panthers colors because I am ready to support my team today, 14 and 0. And uh, so I've got to support them. But I wanted again to share with you the three lessons that you can learn by watching the Carolina Panthers play even if you do not like football or you're not a football fan, okay? So if you're with me and you are ready, give me some hearts, 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 hearts. Let me know that we're out there. But okay, so let me give you number one uh, lesson that you can learn. The number one lesson is that to know that knowledge is power, okay? Cam Newton clearly knows about football. One, he wouldn't be playing pro if he didn't, but he clearly knows about the plays, how to um, um, have different plays that the players can understand. He also understands the other team. So he's very knowledgeable about, about his competition, about his current team. He knows what's going on and he is on point with it, right? So. Knowledge is the key of knowing in your own business what you are doing. Even if you're not um, absolutely 100% sure about everything that you do, just have the knowledge. There's tons of knowledge in a book, clearly in a book. Most of these tips that I'm sharing for you comes from this book right here. But get the knowledge so that you can know what you're doing and feel confident about what you're doing. Clearly. Okay? So these three lessons really revolve around confidence. All right. So number two is action cures fear, right? We always have some kind of fear inside of us that, you know, we're scared to do something. Uh, I wasn't like the most excited, pers uh, excited person about doing this Periscope, but I'm doing it. And I know if I continue to do it, I get a whole lot more comfortable with it. And clearly, again, I'm using the Panthers as a analogy. They could come into this next game full of fear. I mean, they are 14 and 0. And so sometimes you go in thinking, oh, if I go and play this one, I'm gonna, we're gonna ruin our record. Uh, we're doing so good. So you you have a sense of fear inside of you of what of the unknown, all right? If you didn't have some fear of the unknown in you, then uh, something's wrong with you, right? You're not uh, stepping outside of your comfort zone. And clearly playing uh, the Atlanta team today is definitely stepping outside of the Carolina Panthers uh, comfort zone. Uh, they're not going. They're not sure if they are going to be uh, uh, 15 and 0. You know. So, but the only way to cure that fear is to take action. To go out there and get it and do it, right? And that's what I want to say to you: is to take action when you feel the most fear in doing something, just scared out of your wits, then clearly that's the action that you need to do. You need to go for it. That means you're stepping outside of your comfort zone. Um, when I talk to my clients, I always share with them that if you don't step out of your comfort zone, comfort zone you're not moving forward you're not going anywhere if you stay within your little comfort area you know where you're so soft and and safe then you stay where you're at you continue to make the same amount of money that you always made you continue doing the same thing and not getting the results you want so uh, number two the lesson that you can learn from the Carolina Panthers is action cures fear and then number three, this is the biggest one. And I think uh, 
it clearly shows in Cam Newton is that you need to smile big. You need to show those teeth and 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 hold your head up and just smile to the world because you know what? Smiling conveys that you are confident. Right, that you know your stuff, that you are going to uh, step out there and do it without, uh, you know, no matter what the fears, you're going to get it done. Just smile big, and Cam Newton has the best smile I've ever seen. It's just absolutely wonderful, and clearly, it shows that he has a lot of confidence in himself. I mean, literally, I've read, I've heard some anchor people, news people, saying that he could be a little arrogant. Well, you should. You're 14 and oh, you should. You you brought this team from a team that was not doing so good the season before to a team that is dominating, right? And that people are like, I can't believe they're doing it, but they are because what? They took action and they're getting things done. Same thing I want to do with you, right? So let me just recap those real quick because again, I wanted to get this out here, get it done before the game starts because I don't want to miss anything. I don't want to miss the kickoff. I don't want to miss anything. Um, because I know this is their season, just like this is my season and this is your season. Okay, so just a quick recap recap is number one, knowledge is power, right? This is one thing that we can definitely learn from the from the Carolina Panthers is that knowledge is power, right? Two, action cures fear, right? So take action, get out there and do some things. And then three, smile big. Show those pretty whiteies, right? And show because that shows confidence in you, right? So before I go, I want to share with you that I have a uh, challenge going on, right? It is get new clients business breakthrough challenge. This is how you can get the repaying clients in 10 days. So if you're interested in uh, joining, go ahead and join. The challenge starts January the 4th. It's going to include uh, my email templates, my social media um, templates. It's also going to give you uh, the sales conversation scripts that you can say actually to somebody. Thank you you so much for that heart gangs thank you so much um it's going to actually uh help you kick off 2016 the right way while getting three paying clients into your business remember those three lessons that i share with you knowledge is power and i'm going to give you the knowledge on how to get new clients Action cures fear. So if you are afraid of talking to people and selling your products and services, I'm giving you the exact thing that you can say to them when you talk to them on the phone. And then three, you're going to smile big while you're on the phone talking to them. And because you're going to have so much confidence in what you do and what you offer people, they have no choice but to take you up on your action. And it's also going to give you the confidence that you need to move forward. Right? That's what I'm all about. So that's uh, today's scope on the three lessons you can learn by watching the Carolina Panthers play football, even if you don't like football, right? <laughs> that used to be me until I really um, got into football. So I clearly love it now. So that's uh, Elise Michelle and I'm signing off. You guys have a great, great Sunday and I will see you tomorrow.